What's good, Dave Nation? Let's go ahead and get straight to the point. I gotta talk to you about this pickpocket badge right here, bro. Now, in this video, I'm grinding for defensive stopper, but I just wanna go ahead and talk to y'all about the pickpocket badge real quick. Now, this was a badge that was super easy to get in 2K17. I'm sure that if y'all played that, um, which I'm assuming you did, you knew how easy it was to do that. You know, you go ahead, put it on rookie difficulty, all right? You go into career, you put the quarters on 12 minutes, and you reach your life away. It's that simple. Get the badge in a couple games, right? It's not like that this year, okay? You know that the difficulties are insanely jacked up this year. Pro is feeling like Hall of Fame or even harder. Simply for the fact that the CPU clamps like crazy, they hold you back on offense, and you can't reach. Now, just the fact that you can't reach because you get called for a foul nine times out of ten, that makes this badge horrible because you can't just spam fast reaches. You're going to foul out the damn game. So you cannot get the pickpocket badge while you're grinding in game. So the best chance that you do have going for the pickpocket badge is doing these drills right here. Now, as you can see, I'm just playing normal defense or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm mainly going for blocks because I care more about rim protector at this point because, you know, what's the point of trying to get a uh, pickpocket? It's honestly ridiculous. And I'm just doing this drill right here. It's called agility defending. If you're a lockdown defender or you have defensive badges in your secondary that you do want to go for, make sure you go ahead and do these drills. You see me right here. I'm in locking defensive stopper. You see all that progress. I get right there for that badge. You see all that progress I get just for two blocks in this drill. I get some process. I get some progress for uh, for Bruiser. I'm getting good progress doing this. So your best bet is going to be to come here and do these drills. Now, if you want to get that pickpocket badge, make sure you're going to go ahead and do the one-on-one -on -one full court right here, what I'm doing. So on offense, I'm just kind of going in, scoring, whatever. I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about is defense, all right? Make sure you go ahead and clamp. If you reach, you're going to get called for a foul. So don't even try to reach. You just get up close on the guy and hope that they're on the perimeter. And if that all goes through, then you're going to be absolutely fine. You're going to be able to pick the ball. <coughs> now, one thing I got to tell y'all, though, if you haven't already noticed, you cannot steal the ball by, um, by reaching anymore. Like, if you're playing career, you're not going to reach and steal the ball. Even in park, it's hard to reach. It's an animation. Like, right there, you see? It's an animation. I did not click square, but I got that steal. <coughs> That's how you're going to get it. That's how you're going to get that badge. You're going to have to just try to get that animation, just kind of come up on the perimeter, play some tight defense, because reaching is not going to get you anywhere. And as for your other badges, you're going to be able to get them easily. But for the pickpocket badge, if you're trying to get that badge, if you're trying to repeat what the park, this is your best bet. It is a grind. It's going to take you forever just to get this on bronze. Just imagine getting this to silver and gold. And if you're a pure lockdown on Hall of Fame, like, honestly, GG, get this video out to 2K. Share this video simply for the fact that we need to do something about this badge. I mean, I haven't heard this because there's not a lot of lockdowns out there. But pickpocket badge is disgusting. I mean, defensive stopper is easy. Uh, rim protector is easy. All those badges are easy to get. Easy peasy, no problem, right? You just got to grind a little bit. But pickpocket is actually genuinely hard to get. And they need to just allow you to reach and put the game on an easier difficulty. You know, why not bring back the rookie difficulty? And if they can't do that, then just tone down the way that they treat pro because this is not pro difficulty all right i'm trying to play on pro difficulty but this is not pro this is honestly like hall of fame and that's pretty much all i got for this video if y'all want to go ahead and keep watching these badge videos i'm going to go ahead and drop actual badge tutorials next time instead of a pickpocket badge rant um if you guys uh, find an easier way to get the pickpocket badge make sure you go ahead and comment it let me know so i can make a video on that or just let everyone know so we can make this process a lot easier and if you want to know how to get every badge make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my video like my video, go ahead and show some love on my channel. I'm on that 700 sub grind. You already know, I'm out.